the real question is what has AGC done for the masses? Um, not only teaching these the children who come through the program a beautiful skill, but a quality level performance. How we're not phoning it in. You know what I mean? This is not at the, you know, something you see, you know, when the kids shuffle up at the after school program. This is high caliber performing, high caliber talent, high caliber training for these children. And some of the stuff that they do on stage, you literally could see that on Broadway somewhere. You know, and I think that it's more than what um, AGC does for one person, it's what they do for the community. Um, I think AGC for me aided in some of my humble beginnings just because they really teach you to use kind of every resource you have that you and every talent that you have to the best of your ability. I feel like all of us, everyone who went through the process through the education of AGC is if nothing else prepared to shut up and sit there, be on time to not speak. <laughs> I just became more open um, after AGC and just I brought out the character in myself from AGC as well. They, they would say it doesn't, it's not kid theater, it doesn't feel like children's theater. And I think that's one of the things that made me love AGC. Like it made me appreciate it because they didn't treat us like, oh, we're little kids and we're just getting on stage and do this and do that and you look cute. We were actually learning. Even though we were children, we weren't held to a standard of like, this is children's theater. We just so happened to be children doing theater. And so we were held to an industry standard. And starting off my career that way, I was so much more prepared than any of my counterparts, you know? AGC has affected my professional life and my personal life in, in a lot of ways. Uh, on my personal life front, um, my closest friends to this day remain people that I went to AGC with. There's just a certain bond that you have with people that share your interests um, that is, was really sort of firmly rooted in our AGC experience because we were growing, sort of literally and figuratively growing together. We were growing up and we were also growing as artists together. It definitely taught me to commit and do the work, like Miss Wendy was always saying. Uh, back back in the day. Well, it has instilled the artistic integrity because everything counts. There's like, even if you were in the back, you had to do that move full out because you were part of the ensemble. To so yeah, commit, to show up, and to like work hard. It was such like a professional environment. It was fun and stuff, but like, we were really doing it like at a professional level. You know, um, it was such a pure um, foundation, it just, can only go up, um, you know, I'm sort of, I think all of us alums are sort of waiting and, and looking forward to the day when like, we all have become so firmly rooted in our careers that we can come back and just help it even grow even higher. You are in an open enough environment to truly be who you are and kind of break down those walls as an entertainer. And you know, you may mess up in dance class, you may, find it hard to dig into your character as an actor, but at the end of the day, they were there to help you peel back those layers. It was called All God's Children, but I feel like Amazing Grace Conservatory was just so much, it just rings true to what it really is. And I think for so many people, it's changed people's lives. Talent-wise, AGC forced me to flex every muscle, from improv to like being hard on myself, critiquing-wise, and um, they really have like a, a blend of an indie spirit and a professional spirit that I definitely took to in my in my own career, in my own work. And honestly, quite honestly, I have not found a place like that since I've left AGC. And I've gone to other acting schools and all that and nowhere has been like AGC. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations, Miss Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations, Wendy. Congratulations on 20 years of Amazing Grace Conservatory. She was always, Wendy was always just upright. Like her posture was just, nobody could compete. And five and six and seven and eight. Baby, baby, no, baby. <laughs> Let you tell it.
and that was like that that literally when she was writing plays it was in every play she wrote and it became a thing around agc where she it, now even talking to people i'd be like hmm, let you tell it uh it'd be like ah! so that, that that's when i think wendy i think ah! i don't i don't know why that's what i think and she's like, but baby, 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 you have to commit. If it's here, then it's here. If you're sniffing it, then it's here. Do the work. Do the work, baby. Do the work, okay? Come on, y'all. Come on. Over here. Come on. Come on, y'all. Over here. Baby, I love you, but you need to come on. You need to move. You need to. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay. All right. And five, six, seven.